Hey you guys, it's Miss Alexander and today we are adding fractions within like denominators. Now this is really exciting for me because I get to teach you that you can only add numerators. If your denominators are not the same, you cannot add those fractions together. So you need to find a common denominator and I will show you how we will do it. Once you convert to the common denominator, you do what we have been doing and add up those numerators. And then if you need to, you need to simplify so it's in its simplest form. So let's go to our model problem. We have one quarter plus two thirds. So you see we have the four and the three. So I'm gonna put a four and a three. And I always use the multiples. So I'll go multiples of four, five numbers out. So I'm doing one times four, two times four, three times four, four times four, and five times four. And I do the same thing with my three. And I go five numbers out. One times three, two times three, three times three, three times four, and three times five. Now I look at my four because it's the first number and I look at my threes, is there any four? No, I look at the eight, is there any eight? No, I look at the 12, is there a 12? Yes, so I quick highlight those 12 so I know this is my common denominator. So now I come down here and I write one quarter times. Well, I count to see what position my 12's in, what multiple is it, and we know it's three times four. So what I do to the bottom, I need to do the top. So because I multiplied three times four, I get 12, I gotta do it to the top. So I do three times one, which is three. And then I do the same thing with the three. Three times four is 12, so what do I do to the bottom? I do the top, so I get two times four is eight. So we've got that. You're doing great with this part. Now let's go and add our fractions. We go three quarters plus eight quarters equals, you guys, what's eight plus three? You're amazing, it is 11. And we bring our denominator over because it doesn't change. So it becomes 11 twelfths. And because 11 is a prime number, we know our fraction is simplified. So our answer is 11 twelfths. Now let's look at our next problem. We have one third plus one half. Again, we're gonna just put our numbers in and do five multiples. So here we go. We do three and two, three, six, nine, 12 and 15, those are our five multiples, you guys, for three. And then I'll do five multiples of two, which is two, four, six, eight, and 10. Now I go through and find out what is common. Is my three common? No, what about my six? Yeah, so I'm gonna highlight both sixes. Look at that. Now we need to convert our one third and one half into something over six. Here we go, you guys. So I do one third, times two over two, because our six is in the second position, which is two times three. So do that and we get, well, we're gonna go to the next one. We're gonna do one half times what, you guys? You're right, three over three, very good. So now we're gonna do two times one, Good job, it is two. And then two times three, which we already know is six. We do three times one, three, and three times two is six. Now I take these and I get to add them. Add them, two six plus three six. And I'm just bringing them on down, you guys. Which gives us what, you guys? Five six, great job. Now what do we know about five, you guys? Let me hear you say it. Yes, amazing, it is prime, so we leave it alone. I hope this helped, and if you have any questions, please ask. Remember to smile, giggle, and wiggle as you're having fun. I'll talk to you later, bye.